last video covering routes, we're going to add some additional custom routes that I think you'll find pretty handy. And we're also, I'm going to walk you through how to create a page by hand instead of using the automated tools. So the very first thing I'm going to do is show you how to do a redirect because this is something that you'll probably find that is uh, very helpful to do and you just have to know the right command to type in in order to get it working. So uh, I'm going to do uh, git blog and it doesn't really matter if you do single quotes or double. Uh, I just do it out of a matter of preference. And so git blog because I don't want to create a blog page here. I actually just want to have it redirect to my personal blog. So I'm going to do git blog which means anyone going to localhost 3000 slash blog will be redirected to my site. And the way to do that is to just type in redirect and then type in the full URL for the site. So now if I go to Rails S and then let the server load up, go into the browser, localhost 3000, everything's working. Now if I type in blog, it actually redirects to my blog, which is on a third party site. It's on Tumblr. So go back. So that's how you integrate a redirect in the application. Now, what if we want to have a catch all, a 404 error message, you went to the wrong page kind of thing? That's actually pretty easy to integrate as well. So I'm going to do here at the very bottom, even below home, because I want this to be the route that gets shown if you remember from the last video I said whatever's on the bottom here is the last route so what I, you always you'd never want to put this catch-all route at the top or else every single one of the routes would be sent to it you want to do this at the bottom which means that whatever got typed in went through contact about blog all the different project routes and the home page and it didn't get caught by any of those. So this is kind of the catch-all. So you type in get and then in a string put star path comma two and then you do a redirect and in this case I'm gonna to want to redirect it to it really could be redirected towards anything but I want to redirect it to uh, 404 so or let's call it error in this case and so if you notice we don't actually have anything here called error which is fine so I first need to create a route for it so type in error pages error and then we need to update our pages controller so I'll add a new method here called error and we don't have to put anything inside of it. We're not passing any values into it. Uh, and then inside views and pages, you need to create a new file, and it's going to be air.html.erb. All of the naming here is very important. So I'm going to do a uh, h1 and say, sorry, that page does not exist. And then we can do a, would you like to go back to the home page? Um, now here I want to, and the only reason I'm doing this is to show you how you can put in your routes directly into the code. So I'm going to do some embedded Ruby, say link underscore two, put home page inside of quotes, and then say root path. Now you may wonder what all this means. You should now already know the embedded Ruby part. Link to means it's going to create a link for us using Ruby. Home page is the text it's going to be, and then comma, and root path is the root of the application. If you want to see it, you can come over here, type in rake routes and your root is just going to be whatever your home page is come here all the way down the bottom you can see your prefix of root that means it's going to be root underscore path it's routed to pages home 
So let's look at that. So we have this pages controller routes. I don't see anything that I missed, but we'll see. So I've typed in Rails S. We'll wait for it to load up and now let's go to our application. So we first let's make sure our old routes work. So I go to about, it goes to the about page. I go to blog, it redirects. So it looks like all of our routes work. Now what if I do Yahoo? Oh, there we go. So that worked and it sent us to essentially our 404 page, uh, which says the page doesn't exist. And now you can see that this home page that we put in there automatically became a link. If I click on it, it gets sent back to the home page. So everything is working. If you went through that, congratulations.